everything bad about my cosplay. So, I've just somewhat finished this costume, and if you've seen the last video where I did somewhat a reveal in more of a cinematic way, he looks great and stuff. But then again, some stuff happened that I will have to fix now. Like, there's problems I have with the suit. That I will address in this video, so you know what you have to pay attention to if you try this yourself. And hopefully do better than what I did. <laughs> now, I'm gonna just... From the costume, work from the bottom to the top. Now, what is bad about their feet? Now, first off, the feet... They look all fine. Can't argue. Like, I still have to make this bottom part and stuff. But that's gonna come with the whole endoskeleton that I'm working on. And I can't continue working on the endoskeleton since, um, since, um, yeah. And I also don't even have any money on my credit card, so... Like, I do have a job now, but still, I have no money. So, I will have to, like, pause any projects that I'm working on, the big ones, like Spring Shop and Delia, because I have some foam still, but I don't seem to have any hot glue lying around, and the only last hot glue I have is this, this tiny last stick. So I'm fucked. I have no hot glue. I have maybe foam, but I don't want to like just wing it with tape and glue it on there. So for now, until I have some more money. Like if you have spare money and you like my stuff and you want to support me, check out my Patreon. And you also will support me by just becoming a free member. I will try my best also to upload pictures from behind the scenes and anything there. Um, you can also check out my other social medias, like join the Discord server. We got like 50 or 60, I don't remember the last time I checked. Awesome people chatting in there. And if you're also a cosplayer and want to share your cosplay or see other ones or ask for help, go join and ask your questions ahead. We're all nice. And if there's any hate or toxism, trust me, you're gonna get banned. So, the other social media would be TikTok, but I only repost really the same thing I post on this channel, the YouTube shorts wise. So, what's bad about the feed? Now, one part that's gonna be bad with like mostly all the parts. You can see seams. Seams are like everywhere. And I don't know, I, I'm too much of a perfectionist and I just completely don't like seeing seams. Like you could say from the far it looks fine, but the closer you get the more you notice the seams and it's just looking weird. Like, what happened inside there? I didn't fully put fur in there. And the thing is, I showed you this foot first, because, I don't know why, but making the second foot made it like, look at this one, it looks way off, way weird. Probably because this is like, not too much, well, but like still, you can see, this one sucks. Looks way weirder and not the same. But they work. They look fine enough. <laughs> Mostly for the fact that it's not 3D printed. It's fully handmade. Now, the feet. On the feet. What's good, like, yeah, it's quite fine. I could say that maybe I still have to make it better looking, that like, better dirty. It's, Still, all just black. 
one thing I can say is I went lazy on this piece it's literally just a fat cylinder this one's actually like somewhat a good shape <laughs> and one thing I can tell you what uh, went wrong with this I have you know this this part here the, the pants I put like glue in there and on certain parts like that get like pressed together really hard I put glue between the pants and the foam to have it like stick together well I kind of put it everywhere thing is when I'm then just like you know walking around that's starting to like rub on the knees and that that hurts <laughs> it's not just on the knees just somewhat on some parts not everywhere of course like if you just put it like here's some glue in here it's gonna be fine but if you glue make sure <laughs> to put no glue on the kneecaps that's why I kind of fixed the knees with you see this wire and then put a square of foam going there so it basically also what's really good about this this can if standing up overlap and if it's sitting down it's kind of still hiding the knee under it yeah I fought through everything then next part would be probably <laughs> seams again you basically can't really get rid of seams like it's really hard to that's why I always try to put them either in the back or I tried to make them inside but it always ended up being in the back too here I didn't even see the seam on this one couldn't mind but yeah next bad thing is, is <laughs> the cuts look on their own fine but then again you see the foam on some parts like you see it really well IRL and it kind of ruins it like you have these good plastic hard cuts and then <laughs> this weird foam weird <laughs> and then the fur so what I could imagine to make this like way more accurate is a whole new design I'm gonna put you a bit more up so it can be more close so a whole new design basically when you have your foam base so you have yourself your whatever arm leg piece or even your head let's just say this is your like arm you know you have your foam piece when you now just now put fur on top and want to make the cuts would have to cut in and you would then always have to see the the foam which then again for me is somewhat of a deal breaker it doesn't look that well what I could imagine is that that, that it makes it way accurater either just on some parts of the suit where you have no you have the cuts you put some tape and take this tape and put it before the fur on top and then you put the fur on top with this under it, it means if you cut into it you have hmm. actually you don't cut into it you originally make it that the foam piece isn't glued on where the cut is gonna be so you automatically have the, the fur kind of just ripped off and afterwards to give it more wavy pattern you can just try and you know burn it off which probably would look even better that's that's most possibly how to make the head even better but I'll just stick what I have I don't want to redo this whole thing I'm just happy this worked out fine now anything else that's that went wrong on the legs yeah the cuts the cuts itself they could be more realistic 
I kind of ran out of time, and at the same time, I got lazy because I've already like wasted five months just working on this, and like six hundred bucks just on materials. So I kind of just. Yeah, I kind of just sped render cuts, just today at least look good. Now, this torso piece. So, here you can probably uh, see the cuts problem again, where you have, you have the, this beautiful cut, but then you see this weird foam just sticking through. Yeah, that's, that's one major problem with this one. Then, the worst thing about the torso is this, I'm happy this is like hidden more off by the head, but there's so many seams up here, you see, this is just very horrible. It was such a pain to do. The next thing is... The, a problem with the whole suit, the I, I used blankets to make the fur, because blankets are cheap, but they're also really furry. This is basically a massive plushie, which I might make it into a massive plushie once I have a new suit. But for now, this is going to be my cosplay. And the thing is, see, because it's fluffy, all these fluffs, it just go off and like on a bow tie they just stick to it the same way of you know I forgot the name of this but you know the same way this like sticks together and then get got gets like off very hardly then you can also probably see this is also <laughs> very Bad. I didn't have enough fur to get this overlap inside because I didn't cut it properly. And then my experimental hole in here that I made where I wanted to put my speaker for the voice changer. The problem then with the voice changer is because I have the microphone right here. I didn't have any casing, means if somebody right in front of me would have talked, the microphone would also pick it up, and it would have sounded weird. So I have to think or develop some kind of mask I can put on under the head. Yeah. That basically just blocks most of what's happening around. The next problem with the torso is course I forgot to mention there's even there's even more seams in the behind they're, they're everywhere first off putting this on is super easy I gotta say that making this a reverse vest super easy see already have it on now the problem is I alone can't close this this is open and I can't I can barely close the bottom of the zipper, but I can't, you know, go up there. And when I was at this party tent, <laughs> I had my mom help me. Well, most of the times I just don't want to like go to my parents. Hey, can you just zip this close real quick? I don't want to annoy them. That's why I never go to them about this. So I mostly just. You know, just leave it open. And even if the zipper is closed, there's the danger of this just randomly opening because it slowly rips open. That's something I really failed on making. Because when I have this on, this kind of is not good enough made. So you see, it stretches out. It's not enough space for me. I would need to like cut from the inside some fur out 
but then it makes him thinner again. Quite a pain in the ass. Then the next thing is, of course, because this is so furry, painting this doesn't even look good. Like, it doesn't really look well. The only thing that's really getting painted with the airbrush is the hair's tops, you know? Only the tops get hair uh, painted. Makes it look weird. Now, one more bad one, problem case, are the gloves. <laughs> I worked hard on them, but I'll probably have to make another version. Now the problem with this is, of course, like on the feet, the right glove, it works beautiful, it's perfect. You know this one? Can't complain. It looks good, it's of course a bit blocky, but then again, I just slowly like, carved this out of foam. and. Problems are this rips easily. You can probably see like cracking all over the place, about to rip open. I lost the finger, but on the problem case side left, the thumb it ripped open and then just fell off. Oh fuck! I went the finger, my finger, my finger. It's a very hard, big problem. I probably have a clip where I show the finger from the previous video because that's where it broke off, just dropped <laughs> right before even I started it. Now you might think that's the only problem. The next thing is look at all this fur. This is collecting so, so much. Next thing is this glove is completely crumbling. It's literally won't take long and this is broken. Then the next thing is these, they are, they are so like, so like, how can I show you that well? No, they're so thick and thin that it squishes my finger. And this one is so bad that after a while it hurts like I broke a bone or something. But then when I put it off, it just disappears the pain, which is kind of weird. So, I would say if you make gloves, make them have space. Let them be spacey. <laughs> I failed on that with the half. Because for some reason, this one works perfect. The other one sucks now we have the head now the first obvious problem is the broken ear the left one broke off what because i kind of yanked it just just a tiny bit and this one has now also broken off whilst the yes the, the, the last recording which um, is not good. I, I would have to do so much to have the, the wire in there pro, like replaced. But I'm probably gonna do the same thing like here and use three instead of one. That are the ears. Then the next thing is I kind of failed on painting. It looks weird. This is a bit too bright anyways. For like fur colors, I went with a too bright one, but that's the only thing I had. I didn't even have money in anything back then, nor really much of a community. Next part is I accidentally painted the eyelids, so you need to be more careful of like <laughs> taping this off. Then again, I painted this too much, making this look really dark. I would say this cut looks fine, but then again, the head doesn't have black cuts. Not even such big ones, so 
this is even more wrong. On the ear inside, you can see the glue. Very bright in there. You see the glue really bright? That's one problem. And I don't know why, but it looks so weird from the side. I probably need to give him more of this and make the jar go lower because they're basically rubbing against each other. I already fixed the problem that these hinges, these, I like made new ones, fully modeled them myself and they work so much better. And they actually let me just slide this head on without having normally I had to like stretch this out you know I had to stretch it out to put them on because I use plastic piece plastic piece and put a wire between and that wire just poked in my head like a spring lock it's not too stable and breaks easily another thing I fixed is here I have a new model it doesn't look so 3d printed you can see I just post a good picture where you can see better we can see it's like groovy and the teeth they, they're also very off aligned I will have to remake them they're, they're quite British what's also wrong look inside the head you see there's there's all the free wires that go in all kinds of directions from the ear and I had to just put like some triangles, glue them inside, so that's fixed. The bag has basically a hole, so my head fits better in there. And this is like super thin, it means it just squishes in like nothing. Then, <laughs> the electronic system. This is so janky. It sometimes works, like now, it works fine, and other times it just doesn't it just flashes and then it's off but then again for the first ever prototype i would say works what i think i talked about everything that's wrong yeah hope to see you in my next video and have a great day night or afternoon See ya. The finger. The finger.